the quest for this elusive and magical cup has inspired, elated, and broken many. We were 8-1 in the first to nine wins. We were struggling. Can Oracle Team USA win eight races in a row? When you're sailing boats at this level, everything is human powered and you're heavily undermanned. It is horrendous for the guys. So session for today, we're going to see the component. Five rounds of that. Um, functional exercise pattern again, then we'll go hill plus stairs. Do a quick puzzle then into the exercises. How's that? Pumped. We didn't take a day off at all during the whole competition. We went out and trained on the reserve days, the, the days off. All you're kind of thinking about is your teammates. So a lot of the other stuff goes away. In sport, sailing is a ruthless environment. You want to try and build up and get a balanced athlete to perform in the sport he does. On 40.1 From day one, he, you know, he led, he instilled enthusiasm, instilled belief in everyone there, and he was just fantastic with the guys. Nice fellas, Jimmy Gutterblue. He commands respect, so you have to push yourself when you're around him. Under pressure now, fellas. He's always right there next to you, going as hard as you are, so, you know, if he can do it, you can do it. So the chase is on. He's a great guy and a great leader, and everyone he surrounds himself with ends up stepping up. This is it, work your asses up. You've got to get the best out of your team, right? If they don't believe in your leader, then they're not going to dig it in. They don't believe we're going to win. Jimmy Spithill is gaining confidence by every meter sail. His actions speak louder than words. I've got ten of my best mates in the back seat. You do know a good leader when you see one. That can make you unstoppable. Yeah.